I, uh, I want to thank you. For what you said. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow. I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. And I'm grateful. I, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I should. I don't think I want you to think of me in terms of sex. I don't know if I want anyone to. As a person? Would that be so much to ask? But don't look at me like that. I'm as surprised as you are. It's a novel concept, I admit. And, uh... A little intimidating. It's been so long since I've had to make these decisions for myself. I won't lie, it's a taunting prospect. It would have been so easy to bite her, to just go along with what I was being told to do. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. Uh, I tried to pick beautiful people where I could, but there were so many over the years. After a while, you stopped caring. <laughs> the entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped thinking like I was his slave. <sighs> Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. Well, of course. I needed protection. <laughs> People don't trust vampires, perhaps understandably. So I needed to get someone on my side. And seducing you was easy, frankly. <laughs> so imagine how stupid I felt when I started to genuinely feel something for you. Trust me, I was not happy about it. You were a complication I didn't see coming. And yet... Really? of surprises, aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> All that comes next. But I know that this, this is nice. 